Hi, welcome to Talking with Docs. Dr. Paul Zalzal. Dr. Brad Winnie. Like, share, subscribe. We're trying to grow our channel, so please, if you are liking this, like it. <laughs> or if you think someone else might like it, share it. Like it, share it. Okay, today what are we talking about, Paul? We're talking about a syndrome. We're talking about metabolic syndrome. It's kind of a buzzword that's coming up. Certainly your primary care physician is now thinking about along these lines when you present to them. Metabolic syndrome. What's a syndrome? So a syndrome is like a group of uh, signs or symptoms or character traits that kind of collectively go together in a common way. Yeah, and you've heard of like carpal tunnel syndrome. We've yep. talked about that before. Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. You've probably not heard of. Chronic fatigue syndrome. You probably have it. So <laughs> now we're talking about metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome. So this is a syndrome which is a group of conditions that increase your risk of things like heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. So it's wow. at the forefront. Terrible triad. Yeah, the terrible triad for sure. Okay, so there we go, metabolic syndrome. So how is it diagnosed, Paul? What well, do people have to have? Or what so are... like syndromes, you have yes. to have a certain number of a collection of symptoms. Okay. That's what makes up a syndrome. So in this case, there are five choices. Yes. You have to have three of these five three to win five. your metabolic syndrome To badge. win, yes, three okay. of five wins. First thing is a large waistline. If you have a right. larger waistline, that's one of the symptoms that you might have for uh, metabolic syndrome. Yeah, and that's 40 inches for men, 35 inches for females. And there is a trend to say, listen, it's not just where, not just not your total weight is not the yeah. issue. It's really where your weight is distributed that has a unique risk to you. Yeah. Okay, number two is elevated blood pressure. So blood pressure of greater than 130 over 85. And this is a number we've talked about before in some mm -hmm. of our other videos. Mm -hmm. It does change a little bit as we age, but this is the guideline if you have borderline high blood pressure at 130 over 85. Number two. That was two. Number two. three is elevated blood sugars. Your blood sugars are high. Yep. That could be part of this. You know, we said symptoms, but these are really signs, aren't they? These are signs. Any of these symptom is something that you present with your doctor. A sign is a finding your doctor makes. Yes. So three of these signs. So we've got so far large waistline, hypertension, high blood sugar. Yeah, and the high blood sugar becoming very common with uh, talking about insulin resistance, borderline diabetes, elevated blood glucose. So that all kind of gets lumped together. So the fourth one is elevated triglycerides. Certainly lots of controversy about what in your blood actually matters. But elevated triglycerides have definitely been shown to be part of this syndrome. If you have this, it increases your chances of these other diseases. And hand in hand with that is a low level of HDL. Oh, blood. the DLs. Man, we talk a lot about the DLs. High density lipoproteins, so low HDL. So that's the good one. So HDL is the good one. So if you have low amounts of the good one, this increases your chances of having negative health consequences. And if that's one of your three of your five, that means you got metabolic syndrome. So what are the risk factors for metabolic syndrome? Well, they're kind of like the signs. If you have issue of diabetes yep. or obesity. Yep. Um, or features of insulin resistance. Yeah. Those are your risk factors. Okay, so what are the causes? And the causes kind of go hand in hand with the risk factors and the, the signs as well. That's right. Like anything, genetic factors for sure. is one of the risk factors. We always say you, you can't, you know, you can't choose your family wisely. Yep. And can't. then dietary patterns which also correlate with excess weight and yeah. also correlate with sedentary lifestyles. Yeah, those all go hand in hand. Okay, so how does someone know if they have metabolic syndrome? Like, what do they feel? You don't, right? And you, there's not a lot of symptoms with it, really. We said that you have to have three of these five signs, but symptoms, things right. you're feeling and presenting, you probably, you might be feeling just kind of crummy. That's right. Uh, you know, that's Generally, unwell, but you don't have a, hey, I feel like my blood pressure's high, usually, no. unless it's crazy high. Yeah. Um, Often, unless you're actually formally diabetic, slightly elevated blood sugars are probably not gonna make you feel anything. And you're definitely not in touch at the level of feeling your triglycerides mm, and your HDL. Yeah. I'm not anyway. No, 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 can't do that. No, so often no symptoms. This is why you see your doctor and then they take the collection of all the data and say, listen, this is something that we have to talk about and maybe address. So, treatment and prevention. Take a guess. <laughs> okay, guess? Here, here we go. Eat well. Eat well, exercise, exercise and both of those two things are gonna lead to better lifestyle. And a weight loss. That's so it. if you can reduce your weight loss by eating healthy and exercising, this is going to reduce your risk of metabolic syndrome and the associated consequences of heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. So they basically kind of took all the things that they know is bad for you, yeah. lumped them together into this syndrome called the metabolic syndrome. And I think it's because we're realizing that in isolation, just high blood pressure might be okay. You know, just elevated blood glucose might be okay, or just low HDL might be okay. But when you put them all together, the cumulative effect of all these unhealthy things leads to bigger problems. Yeah, they might not just be okay, they might have little risk effects, yes. but when they're all lumped together, the risks go away. It's more high. predictive, for sure. There you go, metabolic, metabolic syndrome. Metabolic Talk syndrome. about that at the copier today. <laughs>
Hey, Bob, how's your metabolic syndrome? <laughs> you look like you got metabolic <laughs> syndrome. <laughs> okay, if you like this video, please like it, subscribe to our channel. And remember, you are in charge of your own health. We'll see you next time.